When is the real Prince Harry coming? Cheeky children quiz the father to be as he jokes around with pupils and meets the school dog on a visit to a tree planting project. The Duke of Sussex had to convince young children that he was the real Prince Harry today, despite not wearing a crown. Prince Harry joked with pupils, met the school dog, and mimed his pregnant wife's baby bump as he helped plant trees to highlight the importance of the environment. Harry mimed the shape of the baby bump of his wife Meghan, who is believed to be around six weeks away from the arrival of her first child, as he chatted to staff, children, and visitors at St. Vincent's Catholic Primary School in Acton, West London, on Wednesday. But, in an adorable moment, a teaching assistant revealed that one of the young children asked him, When is the real Prince Harry coming? Harry responded by saying, I'm the real Harry. I've just had my hair cut for the occasion. Prince Harry seemed in good spirits, and was a natural with children as he was seen crouching down to a little girl's eye level and leaning in as he shook her hand at St. Vincent's Catholic Primary School in Acton, West London. Dozens of school children filled the playground for Prince Harry's visit and some even waved colored in flags as teachers stood nearby. The Duke of Sussex was handed two presents by the children during the visit, and he lifted one of the boxes to his ear before giving it a playful shake. The children gave Harry gifts including an eco-friendly yellow raincoat and Wellington boots for the new royal baby, as well as a decorative cross. Harry also met the school dog Winnie a white kavak in a cross between a bicon fries and a cavalier King Charles Spaniel during the visit, as he talked with the school children and helped plant trees in the school garden. Harry looked overjoyed as he met children after planting the cherry tree and was pictured waving and smiling with various pupils. The prince, who is just weeks away from becoming a father for the first time, grinned broadly as he spoke to crowds of pupils and teachers. When pupils asked him where his wife Megan was, he referenced her pregnancy by miming his wife's baby bump with his hand. He also told them she was having a baby suggesting that she's now officially on maternity leave. The Duke was also treated to a rendition of Seasons of Love from the musical Rent by the pupils. Earlier, he was greeted by he teacher and deputy head Monica McCarthy and Sean Byers, as well as Betsy Spate chief executive of the Woodlands Trust. He was also given a posse from the school's eco-ambassadors Momo and Vanka, 5, Luke Byers, 6, and Mary Jane Briss, 11. Theodora Ivanovo, 50, who helps maintain the outdoor spaces of the Forest School, an idea that comes from Scandinavian outdoor education, said, we want to make the area a mini-urban forest for the benefit of the children because we couldn't make a big one in the centre of London. It contributes to making our town greener and part of the project of our mayor to turn London into a nature park. It's also to fight global warming and let the children be a part of the movement which is now so inspiring for young people around the globe. The Duke planted a cherry tree helped by one of the pupils, as part of a project that will see 60 trees planted in the garden. He was pictured bending down and digging into the soil, before jokingly looking around for help from pupils and teachers watching. He also unveiled a commemorative black, with the help of a young pupil from the school, as part of the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy Scheme. The Scheme run by the Woodland Trust, has provided 74,000 trees across the UK since 2015, as well as 8.4 million hectares of forests in 43 countries. Betsy Spate, chief executive of the Woodland Trust, said, We are extremely proud to be associated with this wonderful initiative and thrilled His Royal Highness could join us this morning to plan a tree to commemorate our support of the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy. We are thrilled that so many schools like St. Vincent's are planning, whilst teaching and educating children about the benefits trees bring. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.